Hi, this is Kevin with softwaremedia.com and today I'm going to be telling you how to use the dimension commands found in the new AutoCAD LT 2010. In my last tutorial I told you how to get started with some basic drawing commands that are found in AutoCAD LT. Well today I'm going to show you how to make those drawings into useful drawings that you can pass on to whoever is making your part or looking at uh, whatever you've drawn so far. So uh, that's where dimensioning comes in. Okay today I'm going to be starting a new file so I'll click on the new button up here and this brings up the select template dialog box. This basically sets the uh, dimensions and scale of whatever you're going to be drawing. So today I'm going to select the manufacturing for metric dimensioning. I'll just select open here. All these templates are just found in the standard AutoCAD template folder. Now if I go under the main menu under the A there, we'll go to drawing utilities and we'll select units. And this is where you can change the underlying units of whatever uh, you're drawing. Right now we have decimal. Um, we're going to be drawing in millimeters and there's our precision. You can also change this to fractional or architectural if you'd choose to draw in uh, inches and feet. So let's cancel out of this box. Okay, I'm just going to draw a simple shape to get us started here. I'm going to turn on our ortho mode and just start drawing a line. Select our first point. Uh, we'll draw it 50 in length. And then we'll just uh, start drawing a basic shape here that'll be good for dimensioning. Okay, now that we have our shape drawn, let's get started with some basic dimensioning. Uh, we'll go up to the Annotate tab up here, and this brings up our complete dimensioning uh, toolbar. The most basic type of dimensioning is linear dimensioning. Uh, now in the old uh, AutoCAD versions, you used to have to type in a command called dim linear. You can see that down here, but now you can just click this nice button and it makes it real easy. So all you do is select uh, the first point that you'd like to begin dimensioning from, and then you select your second point. Uh, I'll turn our ortho off, and then you just drag your dimension wherever you'd like to uh, get started. So we'll drag it up here, and that's a nice spot, and click again, and then we're done. You can see that this line is 42.57 millimeters, if, we, if you remember the way we set up our scale. Okay, now that we've drawn our first dimension, now is a good time to set up our dimension style. Now, if you go back to the Home tab here, you can go under Annotation, and here is our dimension style. We're set up under Manufacturing Metric right now. You can also access this by typing in Dim Style into the command line. So let's click on the little button over here. That'll bring up the Dimension Style Manager. So like I said, we're under Manufacturing Metric right now. We'll just click Modify. Now this changes uh, pretty much everything about your dimensions. You can change your text size, your arrow size, uh, pretty much every uh, single aspect of any dimension. So you can see right now our text height is 3. It looks pretty good for our dimensions. Maybe we can make it a little smaller. We'll make it 2.5. You can also change your arrow size. Uh, arrow size looks pretty good right now. Uh, maybe we'll make them slightly bigger. We'll make them 3.5. And we can also add uh, units to our dimensions. So right now it just says 42.57, but what is that? So what we're going to do is add a suffix to our dimension. So we can just type in mm here for millimeters. And you can see as we make our changes, it kind of updates a little preview over here. So what we'll do is just select OK and close. And there you go. There's all of our changes that we just made. So we shrunk the text a little bit, we made the arrows uh, slightly bigger, and we added the millimeter uh, suffix to the dimension. Once you have your first dimension drawn, it's very easy to continue dimensioning a drawing uh, using a couple of handy commands. The first one I'm going to show you is called the baseline command. The second one is called continue. Both of these are accessed from this little drop down menu here in the annotate uh, tab. So if you select uh, baseline, it's going to ask for your uh, initial dimension. Uh, it knows we only have the one dimension right now, so it's automatically selecting that as the baseline. So we'll select our second point, and you can see it just go ahead and um, 
adds uh, staggered dimensions as we click on out, all from the same baseline. Makes it very easy to dimension an entire drawing super fast. Baseline dimensioning, while uh, being fast and easy, can get a little cumbersome for some applications. That's why there is the continue command. So if we go up here to continue, uh, again, it's going to ask us to select our continued dimensions. So we'll select here. And now this uh, just uh, is very similar to baseline dimension, except it just shows the dimension of the particular um, gap or um, extension here that we're dimensioning. Now, if you don't like the way one of these dimensions looks, it's easy to uh, change its orientation. Just click on it here, and it has these little anchor boxes. So you can click on that and pretty much drag it to wherever you'd like. Just close out the box here, hit enter, and there you go. A couple of other dimension tools include uh, the aligned and angular dimensions. If you click on aligned, it basically gives you the length of a face uh, that's not horizontal or vertical. So you just click first point, click a second point, drag it out, and there we go. There is the length of our angular face here. Now if you're dimensioning uh, this for manufacturing, you'd also want to give a angular dimension as well. So it's going to ask you to select arc, circle, or line. So you can just select these two lines here. And there we go. There's our dimension. You can kind of play with this, drag it out uh, wherever you'd like to place the actual dimension. So we'll select something right about here. And there we go. AutoCAD LT also makes it very easy to add text annotation to any dimension drawing. A great tool is the multi layer tool here. Uh, when you click the multi layer tool, it's going to ask for your uh, leader arrowhead location, what you want to point to basically. Well, I'll select the end of our shape here. Drag it out. It's going to ask you for the leader landing location. We'll select again and then we'll just type in our text. We'll say point of the object. And now if you click again, that adds your leader. And you can also, just like dimensions, you can move these at any time in the future just by clicking and dragging where you'd like it to go. Well, that's basically how to get started dimensioning with AutoCAD LT 2010. Now, just some uh, dimensioning tips for you guys if you've never um, done any kind of drafting or dimensioning before. You basically want to use the least number of dimensions possible. Uh, so, for instance, uh, since we have all these individual dimensions up here, you can basically add these up and get the complete length of your shape. So, a dimension uh, like this one here it would be completely unnecessary. You basically, want to use the fewest number of dimensions as possible. Also, if you don't add a suffix like millimeters or inches or whatever to your dimensions right on your drawing, uh, you need to specify somewhere on your drawing that all dimensions are in millimeters or something like that. You can uh, draw a little text boxes using the multi-line text tool right over here. Again, this is Kevin with softwaremedia.com. Thanks for joining us today. If you're interested in other AutoCAD tutorials, definitely check out our YouTube channel at Software Media, and you can also find some other great software tutorials there as well. Thanks for watching.